Hey there everyone. So in a previous video, I showed you how you can use 1Password's built-in authenticator to protect your accounts with two-factor authentication. What I want to show you today is that you can actually also take your two-factor authentication codes out of 1Password. And that might be because you've decided that you don't really like 1Password's uh, built-in authenticator, or perhaps you decide that you just want to add them in an extra external app as well, just as a backup. So either way, um, it's actually easy to take uh, to, to export your two-factor authentication codes from 1Password's built-in authenticator to a different app. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So here is the 1Password entry for my two-factor authentication uh, testing Twitter account, as you can see. Uh, so this is where the one-time password uh, gets generated. So if you want to move it out of here or transfer it, we're going to have to go to edit. And then we have to scroll all the way down to one time password. If we click in here, we get this kind of weird looking uh, <laughs> thing here. Don't worry too much about it. But what we want to focus on is where it says secret equals, because this string here, these letters and numbers, this is what we need to copy and paste and put into uh, a different authenticator app. So I'm just going to copy and paste this now and I'm going to open uh, another authenticator app that I have, Aegis, uh, which I believe um, people really uh, kind of like, especially the people on Reddit, they really seem to like Aegis Authenticator, so I'm trying it out here. So if we want to now have that two-factor authentication code for this Twitter account, generated also in Aegis. So we click the, the button here. Now I'm not going to scan a QR code because I don't have a QR code. I just have that secret, that secret key. So I'm going to have to click down here to enter manually. Um, and so we have to enter the details here. So name uh, is more 2FA testing. Issuer, uh, it's the site is Twitter. I don't have a note, but I do have a secret. Uh, we're going to add there. And then we're going to save, and that should be it. So I'm going to cancel the edits uh, to the Twitter account uh, information in 1Password. And we're going to make sure that those codes match. Yep. So 214, 370, we see that in both places. And so you can see that we've actually got those two-factor authentication codes for that account being generated both now in Aegis and in 1Password. And if I wanted to, um, I could go back here and I could uh, delete um, the one-time password uh, or the two-factor authentic two -factor authentication codes that get generated in 1Password if I wanted to move it out entirely, or I can leave it if I just want to have a backup and have um, the codes generated in multiple places. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Have a good day, everyone.